Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Terenzo, and today we're going to be continuing our triangle strategy playthrough. Uh, in the last episode, we uh, fought the Dawn Spear and lost, but uh, I'm not salty about that anymore because we made a major decision and we decided to visit Hyzant, not Hyzanti, uh, the land of the salty. So we're going to go visit our brothers and sisters over there. If you do enjoy this content, please leave a like and subscribe, and I do read all comments. But for now, let's jump right back into Triangle Strategy. Lord Serenoa, we are honored that you would choose to grace our nation with your presence. No problem, Lila. I don't trust you. That said, I must offer you a warning as well. It oh, may be boy. in Lady Frederica's best interest to remain here in Glenbrook. Why? I fear there may be some... Uh, complications. Were she to come to Hyzant. Why? Because she's got pink hair? She is half-sister to the Archduke and my betrothed besides. What complications could there possibly be? None, if I had any say in it. However, the matter is more delicate than that. Your lady's hair would draw attention. Unfortunately, none of it favorable. <laughs> Why is the hair such a big deal? I just don't get it. So, is there some kind of like pink hair concubine clan? I don't get it. My mother's hair. The pink locks of the Roselle. Mother once told me of how her people fled High Sand. Okay. Then you know how the Roselle are viewed in our nation. How the gospel of the goddess regards them as sinners. Whoa. Yes, I do. But I am from Esfrost, and I assure you I have committed no sins. Oh of my course, God. my lady. Very well then. I will do all in my power to see your visit is a pleasant one. <sighs> Pink hair, unbelievable. Thank Pink you. hair and salt. Pray, forgive my outburst. You've no need to apologize. Still, I must ask, are you certain? I must go. I would see with my own eyes. All right, let's go then. See where and how my mother and her people suffered. Okay. Oh, that's chapter three, whither the river flows. So the entire chapter was just about picking where we were going to go. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering if one path was easier or harder than the other. Feels like maybe Hazant would be the harder path. I don't know if that's what we just did or not. Yep, let's roll. By order of King Regna, Serenoa escorts their esteemed guests back home, beyond the forest and over the mountains to a vast, sand-swept land. Alright. So, before long, quickly on the grand you. wall of stone rises before them. Known as the Goddess's Shield, behind it lies the Source, Noselia's only supply of salt. That's it? That's just a huge salt mine with a city built around it? Upon the lake shores of the Source, towers a giant likeness of the Goddess, ever watching over the flourishing city and the palace below. This is the holy state of Hyzant. Chapter 3, Part 2, A Land of Sand and Sun. Chapter 3, Part 2. I wonder if our entire visit's just gonna take place in this chapter then. Oh, 
I had heard tales of the goddess's shield, but its grandeur surpasses even my imagination. It's nice. It's a nice shield. It protected the holy state from both Glenbrook and Esfrost during the war. None in history have succeeded in breaching it. Do you think you might fare better, Lord Serenoa? I'm already trying to figure it out. Looks like a pretty tall building. I'm working on it. I think penetrating these walls would be nigh impossible. Don't <laughs> give up yet. A most courteous answer. I should have expected as much. Everyone just freeze. It's a gong. Could this be? Is this the hour of worship I've heard so much about? Indeed. Hyzantians offer their prayers up to the goddess's statue every day. They thank her for her blessing, for bestowing us with the source from which all Norzalia's salt is harvested. To see every citizen pray is astonishing. Goddess truly is at the center of all Hyzant, just as the stories say. Even so, are there none who'd use this time of worship to rob their fellow citizens? There are none so misguided among the Goddess's believers. Okay, so, right, it would have to be someone who wasn't religious. All Hyzantians are guaranteed food, clothing, and shelter. The Holy State has done everything in its power to eliminate poverty and ensure equality. As a result, no one envies oh. others or craves riches for selfish reasons. So, no one needs to bother stealing. Certainly, if everyone were equal, there would be naught to fight about. But achieving absolute equality is impossible. The words of an unbeliever. The goddess showers her blessings fairly upon all who follow her teachings. Huh. <sighs> all right. Before we visit the Hierophant, there is one thing I must tell you about Lady Frederica. About her? Under normal circumstances, the head of our nation would not permit an audience with one of Rosellen extract. We have explained the circumstances, however, and she has been granted special permission to enter the palace as an envoy. Okay. That said, we would ask that Lady Frederica remain silent before the Holy One. You do what you want. Silent. Why? Do what you want, Frederica. It's not my decision. I reiterate that I don't even have a coin. She would I not be so much as allowed to attend. We ask for your understanding of our creed. You mean to treat one of Glenbrook's delegates as if she weren't even there? Pretty much. Prince Roland, you are here in secret. It would not do for you to gainsay another nation's religious creed. I have no objections. <sighs> My apologies. You needn't apologize. Let us do what we came here for. All right. We appreciate your understanding. Now then, let us show you to the palace. And up. Oh. 
we go for now. That is where the Hierophant resides. The Hierophant imparts us with the Goddess's divine messages. None are allowed to look upon the Holy One's face. None save Minister Edor, who conveys their divine words to us. Okay. Pardon our intrusion. Lord Serenoa Wolfort of Glenbrook has escorted us home on behalf of King Raven. Hierophant speaks to you. Serenoa Walford, we thank you for your gracious gesture. We are overjoyed and humbled that you have chosen to grace our nation with your presence. I am unworthy of such high praise, but honored nonetheless. Good answer, good answer. Wolford Better than what I said. A deep bond ever since the Sultan War. On behalf of the Saintly Seven, it is my wish that our friendship will be as strong as it was with your Lord Father. But of course, I strive to one day measure up to his... You will also, in time, succeed Lord Simon as advisor to the mining venture, I hear. Okay, right. The Hierophant would hear your true thoughts on the endeavor. Ooh, a little bit of convictions going on. Yep. I think it's a st uh, okay. We got to be very political here. I think it's a significant stepping stone t toward peace between the three nations. I think it is a valuable endeavor that will fairly profit everyone. I fear the intentions of the three nations are not aligned. I sense a storm is brewing on the horizon. Well, that's the truth. Uh, obviously, we're not going to tell the truth. Uh, valuable. They seem to care about money. It's a significant step towards peace. Value or peace? Fair and value, I feel like actually is probably. Ah, okay, let's just talk about peace. You chickened out. I think it a significant stepping stone toward peace between the three nations. A safe reply. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. It is an ideal, an ideal that I can only hope is shared by all those involved. If I might ask, what is the ideal to which the Holy One aspires? I would share the goddess's blessing with all of Norzelia. The Holy One wishes for a world where people are equal. Okay. So we've done the equal thing then. Equal value the between all nations. The always watches over those who believe in her. May you all receive her divine protection. I apologize for visiting you in secret. But there is something I must ask you. This music is a little dubious. I have heard that the people of Hyzant live in equality. They say the goddess showers blessings upon those who follow her teachings. But is that the only reason? Oh, a studious one you are, Prince Roland. King Regna has raised you well. Oh, Reg Roland. Of course, the We're goddess's gonna get us all in teachings trouble. are at the core of the equality our citizens enjoy. But there are many measures taken by the Holy State to ensure the happiness of our people. Minister Lila's Ministry of Medicine, which dedicates itself to the study of preserving life, is another example of this. Right. The which results I of guess I also get to check out. many people to overcome illness and injury and live long, healthy lives. Fascinating. I would like to hear more about Hyzant's medical discoveries. I see we managed to pique your interest. Minister Lila, I leave our guests in your capable hands. Pray, show them around the Ministry, and let them admire Hyzant's pursuit of life and magic.
So is this our exploration phase? Looks like it. Again, uh, I'm going to keep recording the exploration phase, but we probably won't include it in the video except for the main parts. Oh wait, this is the main story. We got a side quest over here. Franny and Cordelia talk about their brother Roland in his absence. Oh no, Franny, I don't even want to get into it with you today. Cordelia seems to adore Roland, though, so that's good, at least. But, uh, Franny's the one who's gonna have the power one day. Brother? Where is Roland? I've yet to see him today. And you shan't, for he has left. Took it upon himself to join the mission abroad. He did? I... I see. Again, prioritizing his personal wishes above his station. Is there no end to his selfishness? You haven't any love for him, have you? Well? Love. I would rather think of him as little as humanly possible. Hey, it's good to know. It's good to know. How can you say that? He's a fa royal family, and our duty is to the crown above all. Do not look to Roland for inspiration if you wish to carry yourself in a manner befitting your station, dear Cordelia. <sighs> Is that the whole side mission? Sure looks like it. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Now I think we're doing our exploration phase. House Wolford is invited to the Ministry of Medicine, though Federica cannot help but feel less than welcome in her midst. Yeah, I kind of get that. There's not too many people here. Look, a Rosalyn. I heard she's an envoy from Glenbrook. Be that as it may, is her kind even allowed to enter our halls? I can only assume she received special permission since Minister Lila is showing her around. See? Yeah. Huh. Ironic, considering the wishes of us researchers are hardly ever granted. Yeah, they're not whispering, huh? What a splendid facility you have here. I can see why your nation excels in the medical arts. Normally, only ministry staff are allowed in. Having outsiders view our work is unprecedented. We cannot thank you enough for your generosity. If I heard correctly, it sounds like you are researching life itself. Okay. That we are. In order to cure illnesses and injuries, we must set our sights high. Even illnesses deemed uncurable in other nations? There is no miracle panacea in this world, but we like to think nothing is impossible. Lila, the very first conversation we had with Lila, she sounded a little bit on the crazy side, and now she seems completely normal. Wonderful. And would you be willing to share those results with others, should you achieve them? If you believe in the goddess's teachings, yes. At least, that is what I would expect the Holy One to say. Minister Lila. The preparations for the experiment are complete. My apologies, but I must get back to work. You are free to take a look around. However, I ask you to not enter the restricted areas. Oh, you shouldn't have said that. I wonder if it'll let me. Of course, nothing is free in the Ministry. 
nor anywhere in Hyzant. And of course, when people are forced to adhere to teachings, there are some who will resist. Who might you be? Just a researcher, nothing more. You're so full of it. You're full of it, man. <laughs> Who just stands in the middle of a room and says that stuff? Just a researcher. That will also probably be Noah. the cause of your next I battle. I could use some fresh air, if you don't mind. But of course, let us take a break outside. Are you faring, Frederica? Oh, this is an exploration. Better than before, thank you. But I should like to rest in the shade for a spell. But of course, rest as long as you'd like. Everyone in Hazante knows the goddess's teachings. Obey the teachings and serve your nation, and you shall receive the goddess's blessing. It is not wealth that drives Hazant, but the faith and happiness of her people. Can I ignore wealth's importance in the equation? How has this holy state achieved such balance? It seems idealistic to think a nation can be built on faith alone. If the people are left to satisfied, will their faith not waver? But what is it that brings people such happiness? I thought the answer different for everyone. Yeah, that's a good point. I think... Oh, right, it doesn't repeat it. The answer is simple. Following the teachings. Next harm. Do so, and you shall be blessed by the goddess herself. All who live in Hazant can see the happiness that comes with those blessings. I see. Thank you, Minister. Do the Saintly Seven have the people completely under their thumb? You learned about the Saintly Seven of Hazant. Always knew that the goddess and her followers looked upon the Roselle with disdain, yet I cannot help but worry for my people. The sins they atone for are not their own. One cannot help but wonder why they must continue to pay for them. This has less to do with the goddess's teachings than it does pr producing salt. It makes me wonder why other citizens do not labor at the source. I find it difficult to understand why, in this nation that touts equality, the Roselle must suffer such discrimination. Boy, is that true. I suppose my ancestors did something so unforgivable that we have yet to earn the goddess's forgiveness. So y'all don't even know why y'all are so hated on. But the Roselle who committed those crimes have long uh, since passed. In-house Wolfort, people are judged by their deeds and not the circumstances of their birth. Very true, very true. Okay, so I think we did everything we wanted to do here. Didn't buy anything, anything like that. I think we're ready to roll, though. Ending exploration. At best, regroup with the others. Yeah, we'd best. We'd best. We got our hands on a fine souvenir, thanks to Lady Frederica. It is quite the feat indeed. Saranoa has a terrible taste when it comes to gifts. Thank you indeed, Frederica. It was my pleasure. Should we ask Minister Lila about what ails Lord Suma? No. Even now, Lord Simon commands great influence. We cannot let others know about his condition. I'm the Lord now, so... Not even our allies can know of our weaknesses, lest they use them against us. I kind of just disagree with Indeed, that, though. We cannot risk exposing ourselves to such danger for the young lord's sake as well. <laughs> battle, battle? Battle time? That? Fight battle? It appears there is a stir around the ministry. I shall investigate. Let's go. It still almost feels like I'm under leveled though. All right. 
I'm still early, no side quest. I'm going for it. Let's go. I don't think we have anything else we need to do. We've done our upgrades that we wanted to do. I think we're just jumping straight into this battle. We got our eight people, seven coins. Anna, what happened? Anna, what did happen? What's going on? Some researchers at the ministry ran off with its secrets. Some researchers at the ministry ran off with its secrets. Oh, well, it shouldn't really be the ministry, the ministry of healing, right? Isn't this like the healing ministry? Unbelievers? Heathens who reject the goddess's teachings. At their head is a researcher named Plinius. Who escaped with Plenty, so heard that name. Valuable findings. About you must what? retrieve these documents for us, Exham. Consider it done. But they could be anywhere in town by now. I will need all the eyes I can get on the lookout. I must remain here at the ministry. Their spies may still be mine. Minister Exham, you would be happy to be of service. Would we? Is this the Ministry of Healing, and it's like, why, like, if you have all of this medicine, why are you hiding the secrets to medicine? I don't agree with that. We are in your debt, Lord Serena. This must be different secrets. I'm gonna, I'm playing on the assumption that this is different the secrets. The pursue our researchers, proficient in the arcane arts. The insight of one versed in their ways would be invaluable. Okay. Okay, so it's like magic secrets. Take Corentin with me. He is one of my most talented researchers. <gasps> Ice Mage? Corentin, you are to go with House Wolfort and help him retrieve our research from Pliny. Are you an Ice Mage? As you wish, Minister. Alright, my friends. The pursuit begins. 